In October of 2022, I made a video about how I made a live 2D model in three days. Well, it has been a year to the day since that video came out, so I figured an update was in order. Ta-da! I upgraded. As you can see, this model is much better looking than the last. And unlike the first model, this one is actually full body. Look at all this. Absolutely gorgeous. There are a few things that I would like to um, upgrade with this model even still because it has been a while and there's, you know, there's just some things that I would like to improve, but um, that is the topic for a future video. I have been VTubing pretty much full time this past year and I would like to take this opportunity to share what I have learned in all that time. So if you're an aspiring VTuber or a new VTuber or a VTuber who's been in this for a while and maybe you're just looking for a refreshing opinion on things, this is for you. These things are in no particular order and a couple of them are things that you hear from pretty much every VTuber who does a video like this. But, <laughs> you know, they're right. So I suppose the biggest thing that I have learned in my year as a VTuber is the importance of building relationships and networking. When I started, I would watch videos and I would listen to advice that other VTubers had been giving, and every single one of them would say, that you need to network. Networking is important. It's your number one priority. Please talk to people. And I did not take that seriously. I, as a person, very strongly believe that I can do everything by myself, that I do not need the help of other people, and that I can just be a one-man army in every single respect, no matter what I'm doing. And <laughs> that's, first of all, it's just not true, but it is very much not true, even more so, in the VTubing community. Making friends, making connections in the VTubing community is so important. Making friends is intimidating, but it's actually really easy on the internet. All you need to do is go and comment on somebody's tweet or you know, pay attention to their streams, be active in their chat. It does not take a whole lot of effort to build connections and build friendships with other people, especially with other VTubers. Just rip the band-aid off, go into somebody's chat, say hi, engage with them, comment on their tweets, you know. If they have a Discord, join the Discord and just join in the conversation because that's what everybody else is doing and that is how you build those connections with people. If you're not talking to them, they're not gonna talk to you. You need to take the initiative, especially when you're starting out, and you need to go make friends. I still struggle with this. I recognize that it is a difficult thing. It's a difficult hurdle to get over. But making friends is what's going to allow you to grow faster. You'll have bigger opportunities, better opportunities. The more friends you make, the more people will be active in your streams and will be more willing to talk to you. The more people are gonna be circulating, you know, your tweets saying that you are going live or your schedule. All of those tiny little things are gonna help you grow much faster than if you're just doing everything by yourself. The second thing that I think I took way too seriously when I was starting off, I feel as though it is a common sentiment within the VTuber community that your model, your rigging, your overlays, your start screen, your transitions, that everything has to be as professional, high quality as possible in order for people to want to pay attention to you and to want to tune into your streams. But frankly, that is not, that is not the case. <laughs> that is not the case at all. While the professional look does help, looking better or having a top-notch model, top-notch rigging, top-notch designer, any of that stuff does not guarantee that people are going to be interested in you. While a lot of the aesthetic draw is definitely to prettier models, really nice rigging, high dynamic movement, people aren't going to show up just because you look cool. When I upgraded from my previous Vitruvian J model to the one that you see now, I figured that having a nicer model was gonna be one of the things that really would push my growth in an upward direction. And it literally had no effect whatsoever. It did not change a single thing. It made me feel better. It made me feel more confident. I was having a lot more fun, but potential viewers don't care what you look like. It's about your personality, it's about your humor, it's about how you engage with your audience, it's about the content that you're making, and it's about how you're connecting to the people who are taking time out of their day to spend it with you. So model quality and stream appearance doesn't really matter as much as you would think. So don't stress out if you don't have overlays and transitions and a super fancy model. People are there for you, not for what you look like. 
And that works as a really good segue into my next point, which is you need to become comfortable streaming to an audience of nobody. Growth is extremely slow, especially when you're starting off. You need to be emotionally and mentally prepared to stream to an audience of zero for months. Early on, it's very easy to convince yourself that nobody is watching your streams because you're boring or you're not working hard enough. The fact of the matter is that you're new to this, so of course nobody knows who you are. You're brand new here. This is why it's so important to network within the VTuber community. The more friends you make, the more people are going to be likely to come into your stream, so you won't be streaming to an audience of zero for very long, versus if you did what I did, and you streamed by yourself, and you didn't make any friends, and you weren't networking, and you weren't putting yourself out there socially, I think I must have been streaming to zero viewers for... jeez. I think I started off streaming three or four days a week, and I streamed to zero people in all of those three to four days a week for probably six to seven months. Because I was not talking to people, I was not making friends, and I was not letting people know that I was there. So yeah, you need to be okay with streaming to nobody for potentially a very long time. Eventually you will improve, but eventually you will improve. It's not gonna be immediate. So don't expect it to be very fast. And along the lines of you needing to be ready to stream to nobody, one of the hardest moments of my entire VTuber path thus far has been my debut stream. It was actually when I debuted this model to use for the long term. I had queued posts, I made teasers, I had all sorts of promotional content, I had all sorts of material, I was marketing my debut for I think two months in advance for the date. I had like a seven minute lore video that I had made with voice acting, I had a new scene transition, new overlays, I had everything you could possibly imagine for a debut ready to go. And when the day finally came, I streamed to two people. One of which was a friend of mine that I've had for many years who is in no way into VTubing or anything and I think was just there for support. And honestly, it was really difficult. I did consider quitting after my debut. Uh, despite all the work I'd put in, because I was so upset that I had done all of this work for nothing. Or for what felt like nothing. So after that, I took a step back and I sort of reevaluated why I was VTubing, and I suppose what my long-term goals for it were. You know, I love playing video games. When people are in my chat and they do hang out, it is nice to talk to people. It's nice to share experiences with other people on stream. And I I just like, I like having the VTuber model. I like being a pretty anime boy, you know. I, I think it's a lot of fun. So yeah, even though the debut was a huge disappointment and nobody saw all the hard work that I put into it, it almost didn't matter because I felt fulfilled from all the work that I had put in. I liked my lore video, I like my model, I like my overlays, I like the content that I'm making, and at the end of the day, that is what matters. If I like it, it doesn't matter if other people don't. That being said, the most important thing that I think I've learned throughout this whole year of VTubing is that you need to be doing this for yourself. If you're in it for validation, or for the numbers, or for money, or for anything like that, you are going to be so disappointed so quickly, and you're going to quit very, very fast. VTubing is difficult. VTubing is time-consuming. VTubing is exhausting. Growth is extremely slow, even with the support of others. You will not go viral overnight. You will not make money off of this. Which I understand is a very difficult thing for a lot of people to hear, but it's not all fun and games, despite, you know, streaming being having fun playing games. It's not that easy. It's not that clear cut. It's not that simple. Don't do it for other people. Don't do it for the growth. Don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the attention. Do it for you because you want to do it. And on that, if you start VTubing, if you start streaming and you find that it's not fun or it exhausts you in a bad way and it's not fulfilling for you, then there's no shame in either going on a break or taking an indefinite hiatus or just stopping altogether. It's a lot and it's not for everyone. So if you want to give it a shot, then go for it and find your proper reasons for wanting to get into it and wanting to continue and put in the hard work 
with the proper expectation and you will do fantastically. Or if you're in a rut and you're not sure if you want to continue VTubing, do some reevaluation. Think about why you started, think about things that you've enjoyed in your path so far, if there's anything that you want to change or something that you want to experience again. Whatever your reason is, you need to do it for you and not for anybody else for any reason. There are definitely other things that I've learned in VTubing in this past year, but I think those are really the big things. Maybe I'll make another video like this in the future if I think of some other really good points and noteworthy advice, but that's all I got for the time being. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I want to upgrade this model a little bit more. There's some things about it that I don't like and would like to fix, and I would like to have a video about that out um, soon. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be better about making VTubing and live 2D videos. I've been really bad at keeping up with that, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, and if you found any of this advice useful, um, maybe go share this advice with other people. And if you want to try out VTubing, go for it. If you would like to follow my artistic exploits, you can do so on this channel. So, you know, like, subscribe, comment, um, all that mumbo jumbo. If you would like to follow my VTuber exploits though, you can do so by following my social media pages which are gonna be linked in the description. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.